Hi. Welcome to GTEC. Let us discuss about breathing. Breathing which is nothing but the movement of air into and out of the lungs results from a pressure difference between the thoracic cavity and the atmosphere. Here you can see the inside of the lungs and the pressure in the lungs. Breathing is the part of respiration and it is also referred to as external respiration. Here you can see the respiration. Breathing merely involves exchanging of gas between the organism and the environment. Breathing is purely a physical process and it is a mechanical process that involves two steps. The first one is inhalation and the second one is exhalation. Let us talk about inhalation. Inhalation is the action of taking in air rich in oxygen. Here you can see the air rich in oxygen. During inhalation, the rib cage moves towards and the diaphragm contacts to move downwards. As the rib cage expands, the space in the chest cavity increasing allowing air rich in oxygen enter the lungs. Let us talk about exhalation. Exhalation is the action of giving out air rich in carbon dioxide to the environment. During exhalation, the ribs move inwards and the diaphragm relaxes to return to its normal position. The contraction of rib catch reduces the size of chest cavity. Now, air rich in carbon dioxide is driven out of the lungs. You can see the air getting out from the lungs which rise in carbon dioxide. Let us see about the respiration. Respiration is nothing but the process that is involved in inhale and exhale. You can see the nasal cavity which is represented over here. Through the nasal cavity, the inhale and exhale process is carried out. And this portion is called the trachea which is involved in respiration. And you can see the ribcage is over here. And this center portion is called diaphragm. This four parts is involved in respiration. You can see over here. While we are breathing, the alveoli, that are the tiny ascas which inside the human lungs. You can see how the alveoli is getting inside the human lungs. You can see clearly over here. This is called a lungs. And while we are breathing, the oxygen is exchanged for carbon dioxide in the alveoli. Now we are going to see about involuntary respiration. Involuntary respiration is the basic rhythm of breathing occurs without conscious effort. The inspiratory center located in the medulla which sets the basic rhythm by automatically initiating respiration with a 2 second burst of nerve impulses. Contraction of the diaphragm and the external interhostal muscles draws air into the lungs. Here the air get inside the body and here the air get outside the body. It is called involuntary respiration. Now we are going to see about respiratory center. Respiratory center is located in medulla. The medulla is represented over here. This center functions during forced expiration stimulating the internal interhostal and the abdominal muscles to contract. Here the internal interhostal muscle, external interhostal muscle and diaphragm is represented and here the respiratory group is depicted. 
what is meant by inhalation during inhalation the diaphragm contracts and flattens and the external interhostal muscles which draws the rib upward and outward air enters the lungs to stabilize the pressure difference between the external atmosphere and the internal compartments of the lungs the normal inhalation is an active process and it is requiring muscular work here you can see the inhalation process let us see about interhostals during quiet breathing interhostals maintain the rigidity of the chest wall you can see the chest wall over here external interhostals wrap around from the back of the rib almost to the end of the bony part of the rib in front external interhostal in the inside of the rib cage extend from the front of the ribs and go back around past the bend in the ribs you can see it over here here is the internal interhostal transverses thoracis external oblique and diaphragm is over here external interhostal and the other parts is over here let us see about expiration exhalation is a normally a passive process a diaphragm and external interhostal muscles relax which decreasing the volume of thoracic cavity this causes the pressure within the lungs to exceed the atmospheric pressure here the air is expelled out from the lungs you can see the air coming out from the lungs is called expiration let us talk about respiration of inspiration and the expiration here the person get inside the air into the lungs which is called inspiration here the air coming out from the body which is called expiration here the diaphragm is lowered whereas the diaphragm is raised you can see it this process is inspiration and expiration